Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. All right, today I want to look at a George Bellows painting and I want to talk about rabatment and then I'm going to drop the harmonic armature on this composition. Rabatment is overlapping two squares in a rectangle and then creating divisions based on that. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can use rabatment in this composition, but then I'm going to drop the harmonic armature and point out how you can combine both of those to create a design. So let me get started. I'm going to draw out a square and I'm going to overlap them, one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. So that one goes there and then I'll bring this one over here. And then what I'm going to do is drop the diagonal lines of the square and show how a few divisions and diagonal lines come into play. But notice when this vertical comes into play here, which is part of the square, it lines up with this edge of the boxer right there. But when I drop diagonal lines, notice how I'm picking up this diagonal line here and I'll draw the other one in this square on the right hand side. Then I can draw another one on the left hand side for that square. And once you drop the main diagonal lines of the square, you can find other divisions. For example, you have one right here. You have one here with this horizontal line right there. And it's the same as the armature, wherever you have diagonal lines intersect or a vertical and diagonal line intersect, you can drop more lines from that point. All right, so that's rabatment. You're overlapping two squares in a composition and you can see that there are divisions coming into play just from overlapping squares. Now let me drop the harmonic armature on the same painting and find more diagonal lines and divisions coming into play. So basically what I'm stating is that the artist can use those two techniques together. So let me drop the armature and I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. I do have this example in my user's guide. I just did an update on it. All right, so when I drop the main diagonal line, it's picking up this diagonal line here. So that's pretty important. And I'm not really too familiar with George Bellows' work, but this is a pretty famous painting. And I came across this one, of course, in a Juliet Aristides book. And I had to analyze it to see what was going on. And I believe Myron has this example in one of his videos as well. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve and didn't go too crazy or get into any trouble. I didn't do much. I just basically went out to dinner. I don't like going out on New Year's Eve. In New York, it's usually the coldest day of the year. I don't know what it is, but actually this year, it's not. that's not going to be the case. But for most years, it seems like the coldest night of the year. And I just don't really enjoy going out, staying out late on New Year's. But that could just be my age, too, getting older. So, All right, so I'm almost done this. And I'm going to show just a few divisions. I won't go nuts today, but... When you drop the harmonic armature, you can see things come into play. You have a vertical running here, which follows this boxer, the knee up to the to the quad. That's one division. But also notice here with this diagonal line, it's picking up the angle here. You can tell that the artist is formalizing certain lines based on the armature because they hold true. You have a horizontal division. It's very faint here, but it's right in here and that's derived from those diagonal lines. But again, I mean, when you combine the two rabatment and the harmonic armature, you can find a series of divisions and that's what Bellows is doing here. And there's a division here. I'm not gonna break this down much further. I just wanna give the artist an idea of how you can combine these two elements. And I believe I could drop a vertical right here in this position and get that line just like I showed in the rabatment 
and you overlap the squares. Here's that division right there. But that's going to be it for today. I hope this makes a little bit of sense. And I will be doing a few more videos this week. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it.